In this video, we would like to introduce the TSAX program to you, provide information about its context and principles and give an overview about the assessment process. My name is Holger Hoffmann and at TÜVNOT I am responsible for the operational audit and certification programs of information and cybersecurity management systems. TSAX stands for Trusted Information Security Assessment Exchange. It is the most recognized assessment program for information security management systems in the automotive industry. TSAX has been developed under the initiative and supervision of the German Association of the Automotive Industry VDA, and its members. It refers to some controls in the ISO 27001 and its annex, but was then especially tailored to the needs of the automotive supply chain to generate trust. The operator and supervisor of TSAX is ENX. Supported by the TSAX committee, ENX maintains the assessment criteria and catalogues, ESA, approves and monitors the performance of the audit providers, as well as manages the assessment results in its database. Driven by many OEMs and key players, meanwhile thousands of suppliers with around 15,000 registered locations worldwide are participating in the TSAX program. TSAX and its results are fully recognized to build up and maintain trustful business relations in the automotive supply chain. The TSAX program has been developed especially for the automotive suppliers and is aiming to achieve and maintain an appropriate high level of information security, to consider and define the most relevant and stringent requirements and bundle them in specific best practice assessment catalogues, to implement and maintain most effective information security management systems, also called ISMS, to create transparency about the scope, level and maturity of the ISMS, to enable best cost effectiveness. The principles are to develop, maintain and apply a proven assessment program using high standardized processes and tools. To only approve audit providers, such as TÜVNord, who are constantly proving their competence and capability to enable and stipulate free choice among such audit providers, to allow and grant confidential reporting among the participants and their audit providers, as well as selectively exchange the results with other participants by well-defined exchange mechanisms. The TSAX program has proven its feasibility to protect confidentiality, integrity and availability of information being needed for the development and manufacturing of modern vehicles. Let's take a deeper look into the TSAX process. It consists of the following three phases. Registration, assessment and exchange of assessment results. All active participants who intend to do a TSAX assessment have to register at least one TSAX assessment scope. Each scope is based on the relevant locations or location and the protection objectives expected by the business partners. The objectives determine the assessment level and the depth and the required audit efforts as well. Therefore, we highly recommend to get in contact with your key customers to specify the relevant locations to be included in the scope and to define your relevant protection goals. Any participant who needs TSAC's label for more than one location need to investigate and decide to register those locations under individual scopes or to gather them under one common scope. In that case, all locations need to be ruled under one and the same ISMS and have all the same assessment objectives. At the end of the registration, the participant can download a so-called scope excerpt with all relevant data needed by the audit provider to prepare the most effective assessment program and offer. 
Beside active participants, there are passive participants too, such as the OEMs, who do not execute a TSEX assessment, but might get access to the assessment results, which the active participants are sharing. We highly recommend studying the TSEX participant handbook for more information about the objectives, scoping and registration. The major phase of the TSAX process is certainly the assessment. To get ready for the assessment, all active participants have to undertake the following preparations. Selection and contracting of an audit provider. They are listed on the ENX website. TÜV Nord enjoys an excellent reputation and can be found there too. Develop and implement an effective ISMS in accordance with the requirements of the latest ESA catalog. Undertake a self-assessment to get a first maturity level. Prepare the required ISMS documentation and make it available to the audit provider. The assessment then consists of the following stages. The kickoff meeting, which marks the formal start of the assessment. It is required to introduce each other, to clarify the conditions of the assessment, such as the scope and the status of the preparations, as well as to fix the dates and milestones. From this point, the participant is also called auditee. Please note that any kickoff meeting need to be announced to ANX two weeks in advance to enable ANX to monitor the performance of the audit provider. The same is to be considered for the audit described at next. The core of the TSAX process is the initial assessment. It comprises the completeness and plausibility check of the self-assessment and documentation, a remote or on-site audit dependent from the assessment level, and a formal closing meeting, which is an important time mark if any non-conformities occur. In the case the initial assessment has raised any non-conformities, they need to be treated in clause by either immediate corrective action for major non-conformities or corrective action plans for minor non-conformities. Those corrective actions or corrective action plans need to be assessed in another stage called Corrective Action Plan Assessment or CAPA in short. A successful CAPA proves that all non-conformities are assigned measures which are effective and state-of-the-art. The audit provider then can initiate a temporary label in the ANX database. The participant can make those temporary labels visible for others. They are fully accepted by the business partners and are valid maximum nine months from the closing meeting. To turn a temporary label into a final label, a last assessment stage is required. The follow-up assessment, shortly FUA. Here the audit provider checks if the auditee has implemented the agreed corrective actions effectively. The final label is then valid for three years from the closing meeting. After the assessment stages have been completed, and the auditee has proven that the ISMS is effective, the audit provider initiates the final TSAX label on the TSAX database from ENX. The final TSAX label is then valid for three years from the closing meeting. The participant is now free to share the assessment results with existing and potential business partners to maintain and expand the business. In a nutshell, TSAX aims to improve information security in the automotive industry supply chain. It includes specific rules and requirements for auditing information security management systems. The audit results can be shared with business partners via the ANX TSAX database. Why should you choose to have not for your TSAX assessment? As a TSAX audit provider, Approved by ANX Association, TÜV Nord carries out TSAX assessments worldwide. By the way, TSAX might contribute to the fulfillment of the new NIS 2 directive. TÜV Nord also offers ANX VCS audits 
to provide evidence that an effective cybersecurity management system is applied in the development, manufacturing and operation of road vehicles. Thus, our auditors have in-depth knowledge and support you with both technical competence and objective feedback.